Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongeth to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahavashai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahavashai. And double honours to the elder apostle of Great Millstone that teaches truth well, and that continue to teach his truth well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe this lesson is not going to be long because my battery is running out but i'm going to try and make it as quick as possible trust in the lord jihad by shem yahavashai continue to trust in the lord those of you that are sincere stay sincere remember what the scriptures say okay remember what the scriptures say so we're going to start off on ecclesiastes chapter one so like chapter 2 and we're going to jump straight to verse 10 look at the generations of old and see so when you go back to generations it goes back to genia a group of men our forefathers okay look at the generations of old and see did any did any ever trust in the lord jehovah shai and was confounded so if you trust in jehovah shai in truth in sincerity you're not going to be confounded. You're not going to be overtaken by this world. Or did any abide in his fear? Because the fear, fear is stronger than love. You can say you love somebody all day. But it's that fear. Okay. Because if you fear in your heart by Hashem, you're going to do the right things accordingly by him. You're going to do this, those things that please your heart by Hashem, Yahabashai. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? So if you're abiding in the fear of the Lord, and that's why we do what we do, that's why we're moved to do what we do, because we fear you have a shy. And if you did not fear you have a shy, you, you would not be moved to do what you do, which is what proclaim his name. Go out there, offer your body as a living sacrifice. Feed the sheep. This is all a part of the fear of the Lord, you have a shy. And was forsaken. So you're not going to be forsaken if you fear you have a shy. Or whom did he ever despise? That called upon him. The Lord ain't going to despise you for calling upon him. Remember what it says in James. He, he gives to all men liberally. Ask and you shall receive. But nothing without wavering. Okay. For the Lord is full of compassion. But those to, to those that seek him. Okay. And mercy. Long suffering. Because a, a Christian will read this and put, put the scriptures down. Oh that's it now. And very pitiful and forgiveth sins and saveth in a time of affliction. See Yahavashai, what's he going to do? He's gonna save his hopeful elect in a time of affliction, in a time of trouble. And it takes trust to believe in that. Okay? It takes faith to believe in that. Bear me just a minute. And when we go into that word trust, to make strong, make safe, trust to rely on. So who are we relying on? Yahabai Shem Yahabashai. Okay, bear me just a minute. And if you are the elect, Yahavashah will put you in that position where you have no room, you have no choice but to trust in him. Okay, you have no choice. And you know, forget that word but, because but, that's the implication of oh, doubt. I don't like saying that word. But, if, not, but, maybe. Forget, there's no if, buts and maybes. You have a trust in the Yahavashai or you don't. Because if you don't, guess what? He's not going to defend you. This truth is all about faith. Not about the outward, how you look, how you appear. Because you could outwardly, you could look righteous, but within you, you're full of demons, as it says in Matthew 23. Because there's a lot of actors in this truth. And what you're going to find out, a lot of men are really hirelings. They're not really set up to, to, um, to teach you the truth. They're set up to lead you in a way to, to lead you in a way of destruction. So this is why we have elder apostles of Great Millstone to, to bear us on that right path. Bear me just a minute. Well, you know what the scriptures say. Okay. Evil men and traducious shall wax worse and worse. So we're good. That's one thing we're gonna definitely see. And, and it's happening as we speak. Stick to the scriptures. Whatever the elder apostles told us, and it's scriptural, stick to it. Bear me just a minute.
Okay, let's go to Proverbs 3 and 5. Okay. And it says, Trust in the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Oh, bear me just a minute, bear me just a minute. Ah, let's go to verse 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. So, how do you let not mercy and truth forsake thee? By being in the Lord, by being in Yahweh How are you in Yahweh By being in the Word, by being consistent, by being sincere, by being consistent, persistent, all these things. Okay? By giving it to your all. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. So, how, how would mercy and truth forsake someone? When they stop thinking about Yahweh When they go back into the world, when they start becoming deceitful. That's how mercy and truth forsakes one. Bind them, tie them about thy neck, write them upon the table of thy heart, thy mind, so shall thou find favour and good understanding in the sight of the Most High and man, which really we want favour from who? Yahabai Shem Yahabashai. Okay? And with you finding that favour with Yahabai Shem Yahabashai, men are going to see that favour in you and what? You're going to find favour with men. You see how it works? Trust in the Lord Jehovah with all thine heart. All, not some. And lean not unto thy own understanding. So if you trust in Yehovah with all thy heart, your mind, you're not going to be leaning on your own understanding. Your ways are going to be directed rightly. Okay? And lean not unto thy own understanding. Because people that are very emotional, they lean on their own understanding. They're not leaning on the scriptures. Okay, when you're trusting the Lord, you're not leaning on your own understanding, opinions. Oh, well, you know, I think this, uh, you know, I feel no, you're completely trusting your Habashai, whatever, whatever scenario it is, whatever is brought your way. Okay, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. So, when you're acknowledging, it says, in all, not some, in all thy ways. So in all your ways, if you're acknowledging him, that means when things come our way, we're thinking about the scriptures. Are we going to be perfect at doing it? No. But we seek every single day, everything we see, when we see particular things going on around us, what, we bring out a scripture. That's acknowledging your house in all your ways. Some of us emotional. The first thing they think upon what is their emotions, how they feel. Fear the Lord your house and depart. So like your family. And he shall direct thy paths. So your house what is going to direct your path your way. It's going to keep you on that straight way. Not that broad path. Because many are in that broad path right now. Different philosophies. Different beliefs. You even got camps. Okay. That want to that link up. That want to be unified. But they all believe in different things. So what's going to happen? That's just going to fall. Okay. The true power is in what trusting in Yahweh which is what that faith. Bear me just a minute. Find it. Bear me just a minute. No, I can't find it right now. We go to something else instead. Let's go to Hebrews and we shut off. So this is Hebrews 13 and, let me just a minute, what am I going to 13, it's 10, 10 or 11, let me just a minute, yes this is Hebrews 11 and it 
6 but without faith it is impossible to please him so it says without so with you having faith and Yahweh gives you faith okay so without that it's impossible to please him for he that cometh to the most I must believe that he is what the son of the most high he came from Yahweh okay and he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him so you gotta it's not it's one thing seeking Yahweh Shai, but diligently not just going through the motion diligently and he's a rewarder so what those are going to have that reward why because they're diligently seeking him and if you have faith if you have trust you're going to seek him because you believe there's going to be reward for it anyway this is our this is our duty anyway because what's the whole duty of man to fear the most high and keep his commandments but we still believe what we're going to be get, given a reward and a good reward for our labors so with this lesson i hope this was edifying and until the next time shalom to the hopeful elect shalom